Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention, please? And the wild one. Uh, that's le sauvage in French. Yeah, I'm the French guy, yeah. And um, just behind me, you see my violin collection. And that's uh, what we are about to speak. But before that, we'll take just a quick look at some device I've got um, right there. This. Yeah, okay. We'll see that. So, this is my 3D printer by Joseph Prusa, okay? A vanilla one. Didn't change any, anything on it. Uh, it's a Prusa MK2 uh, iteration 3. And why do I speak about violins and 3D printers? Well, first, have a look at my violin collection. So this is my smallest one. I can't play with something uh, smaller because uh, if I place on something, uh, I don't have enough room for my fingers. So. This is my regular one. Oh, poor A. This is my glow in, in the dark violin. Check my other videos. Oh, didn't play for a while. Um, this is, and now we'll, you'll understand the 3D printer. This is my first 3D printed violin. Okay. It's nice, but it, it has some issues. Um, it lacks uh, this part um, where uh, I had to change the tail piece uh, and the peg box uh, can can keep the, the core and you see uh, you see the issue with the peg box the pegs are uh, going down because of the uh, tension of the strings so well it was the first try it was very fun okay so uh, I couldn't uh, change the model because uh, it's a downloaded model and I don't have the uh, files for modification only for uh, printing. So I had to make my own design um, because I want to fill the gap, I told you, uh, and I want to be able to scale it and to change the F all. So there is my first try, okay, and my first prototype, this one. Okay, uh, that's not my peg, peg box. Okay, it's a, a peg box designed for this one, and I put it in that one. Uh, so not yet any change. The peg box, um, I run into some issues, and the the neck is too flat, uh, and uh, it's like uh, some support on the bridge. So. The bridge is uh, a bit uh, going down. Well, I am able to, to, to put whatever I want as the F holes. And this is actually the best one. Okay. I just uh, finished it tonight. So it's brand new and we'll see what he has in the guts. Okay. 
Maybe we'll take a, go, a bow. This is a carbon bow. Carbon, plastic. No, there is wood here. Carbon, plastic, wood. Everything. Um, so, we'll start slowly. Obviously, in Pizzicati, it works. With some bow. So for uh, Little Pingista, that one, uh, that's fine. We'll see with another piece. For Mendelssohn, it's fine too. And ah, surprise, it's thermochronic. <laughs> so, uh, if you play it enough, if you practice enough, your neck will be red, uh, pink. If it's purple, you didn't practice enough. Okay. Hear me, teachers? That's how you will check that your. Students, practice enough, change of the color. Some back, maybe?
So, uh, double, double steps are okay, chords, fine. Um, um, uh, change of positions, well enough. Um, there is just a mistake because I did it without any measurements. <laughs> with the nose. In French, we say with, with nose. So, without any measurements, it's uh, three centimeters too long. So it will be a bit complicated for um, finger extensions, but I will correct that in a future version. <laughs> the next one, in fact. Uh, so there is wood, plastic, carbon. Uh, now I have to make the bow, and I will change the peg box, the bridge. The bridge on the tail piece and the chin rest. I printed the chin rest. I was very afraid of printing, but it works well. So thanks to David from uh, who, who who designed the first model. Uh, I made my um, my uh, improvements, but well, I'm very pleased with that. Thanks for watching. Uh, well, see you next time. Have a good day.